Even though we have a smaller team this year, our track and field are ready to begin their season with their first meet being on March 25th at Rivley High School for Vikings Classic. Let's catch up with some of the returning team members and Coach Darst. Well, you know, every year track's different because you've got new kids that come out. And uh, so, you know, the strength of this, of this track team this year is going to be uh, our field events. Uh, we've got uh, Cody Schultz back, who's the state champion in the discus and was state runner up in the shot foot. We've got a couple young freshmen that are real good throwers that are coming in. And then our hurdling group, you know, with Ian, Ian Wood, you know, he had a tremendous year last year was state champion in the 300 hurdles and the 110 high, so we have him back. Our shutter hurdle relay team was state champion, uh, so we have those guys back. So I would say our hurdling and our field event people are probably going to be our strength. The difference between the dynamic this year and last year is definitely this year. We have less people, but I think it's definitely made us like closer as a team, and we're definitely like pushing each other. It's more like one versus one. It's always like more like a competition now. Uh, we have to show practice every day, make sure we work hard, um, don't skip, don't sit out runs, and just hydrate, work hard. Having a smaller team will definitely not slow them down this year. We have some returning state champions and placers to help lead the younger team to victory. With the girls team placing third overall and the boys with runner-up, they have lots of motivation to improve. Good luck to everyone. This has been Carly Abbott for Point Pleasant Live.